windsurfing. It's not quite sailing, not really surfing, definitely not as cool as kite surfing, but for some reason people still do it, often badly. Here we are, just two lonely windsurfers on a huge expanse of ocean being filmed by a helicopter. What could go wrong? Oh, there is that, I suppose. So, if you like to sail close to the wind, then it's best that you get wind of the science. I thought that was quite good. A windsurfing board is pulled forwards by drive through the sail and backwards by hydrodynamic drag where it meets the water. The balance of drive and drag allows the windsurf board to travel at constant speed. When approaching something that could cause a sudden increase in drag, he shifts his weight back to lift the front of the board and reduce drag. If he doesn't, it could cause the board to lose momentum, but not necessarily him. Making an already unappealing sport even more unappealing, but each to their own. There's nothing quite like being out windsurfing on a grey, miserable day. At least it can't get any worse. It did get worse. The wave rushing over his board creates a lot of drag, stopping the board and sending him flying. The world record for windsurfing a single wave stands at seven minutes, three seconds. And I think that record is safe for now. Oh, now this looks good. You might want to turn now, though. Now? What did you expect? Because he sails at the beach, the water gets shallower until his fin hits the bottom. The sudden increase in friction stops the board, but not the rider. It's not just the water that can cause sudden loss of the board's momentum. It could come via external influences, such as a kite surfer. Or even a sandy beach. Yeah, it is best to try and stay on the water.